Hi, my name is Jack Rogers. Welcome back to my IT channel. I'm here today on the bench with a PC. It's an oldish PC. It's just going to be installed Windows 10 on it. Um, but the problem is a hard drive problem inside. So I'm going to take the hard drive out. I'm going to fit it with another hard drive. Um, and then we're going to try and attempt to reinstall Windows 10. So this has got just on the terabyte hard drive inside. But for some reason, I cannot install Windows 10 on it. Go through all the setup, install, does a reboot. And then again, doesn't boot after that. So there's no, there's no boot in. See the hard drive, you can format it, it's not a problem. But for some reason, just not seem to be picking up the hard drive in it. So not some, I'm not sure if it's some sort of weird make drive, don't know. So I thought I'll, I'll change it to a standard drive. And then we'll try and install. So I thought I could show you a video of um, basically um, how to install it. So, so we've got one of these Lenvo um, PCs here, it's a desktop PC. They're getting quite popular now of making pitch, um, PCs and laptops and uh, all in ones basically, quite nice these are. So you've got two USB ports on the front, memory card um, reader in the front here, you've got um, headphones and microphone. You've got a uh, DVD CD-ROM here, on and off button just at the top here. Then we've got um, air duct and at the back, very simple. We've got two USB ports. We've got a HDMI port, so you can plug it into a big HDMI telly if you wanted to. Standard VGA for a PC screen. Two more um, USBs, Ethernet adapter, again, microphone um, sound at the back here. And then you've got two uh, two cards on, that, on there, which I think are USB, um, extra, two, extra two USB. I think they're the USB 3 high speed USB, so not bad. So we're going to take a look inside. So first of all, make sure they're flat down. We've got a uh, screwdriver ready, got the right tip bit you need on the top. So on this one we've got, we just require, uh, it's a Phillips. Um, so we've got one, two screws here, which should hold just the top on basically. So if we just undo those two, nice and simple. Remember to keep your screws in a safe place and remember where all the screws go. So these are normally quite easy to change out. They, they, they tend to have a little subframe inside, the drive sits in and screwed in as well. So here we should be able to just literally put on the case now, like so, comes off nicely, and lifts off as simple and easy as that. So we'll put that to one side. And uh, we, should now take, we should now take a look inside. As you can see inside, we've got a nice big um, fan for the processor. We've got the USB 3 card, CPU. We've got the DVD drive on top of here, and the hard drive is just underneath it underneath it here. And the in, just inside here, squeezable, is the RAM basically. So nice and tight. And we've got a wireless, um, inbuilt wireless card in the bottom of here because you can see the aerial coming up and then it actually um, comes out of the case. So this is the external aerial bit part itself. I'm not quite sure if this had a wireless on it. Uh, I thought it was just standard ethernet, but if looking inside the case, you can actually see there's the aerial and there's the aerial module down in the bottom there. So we're gonna go next to this part here so you can get the hard drive out um, and then we can try the other drive in it. So I'm just gonna check, I think you need you need to remove this top part. So we take the front off. So front's got three plastic clips along the top here, like so, nice and easy. Just lift up, and you can just gently put it down. And it should come out with slot. So that's the front case off, nice and easy. And then if we turn it around, we need to do a bit of unscrewing here. So I'm just going to bring the camera around so you can actually see. What I'm doing. So for this one, we've got uh, a screw there and screw there, um, which then releases the um, DVD drive. So remember to keep your screws all in one place. And lucky enough, um, most of the screws in these cases tend to be always the same size screws. Enough, and they always seem to be this this sort of size screw all the time. So it makes things much easier because it doesn't matter where you put the screw, it'll go back in the same place. But do check. So this should then slot, slot forward, so it's just literally slot forward. And that then, you can then lift the drive up. You don't have to disconnect it. You can just lift it back over and balance it on the UPS here. So it gives you access to the hard drive here. So if I just move the camera around, and now you can actually see the hard drive. 
I'm just going to move the um, light around so you can see a bit better inside. It's a bit dull because the garage not fantastic for light, light and stuff. So there's the hard drive setup. We need to get access to the hard drive. It looks like it's actually screwed in as well. So we've got one screw down the side here. And we've got, no, it looks like just one screw holds it in place. What I can see here, just one screw. So I get down there, undo that one. As you can see, screw exactly the same as all the others. So I'll just place them there, you can actually see them. They are identical to the case and chassis as well. So they're all the same. And these are the ones we took off earlier for the case. Again, you can see they're all the same screws. So you can't get them wrong. Okay, so we put them to one side. And now I think it's over, then you, yeah, you, so you slide it backwards. So here, I'll just slide it to my right, to my right away from the camera and it then should come out like so. So I'm just gonna disconnect the power cable and then we disconnect the serial ATA cable. Nice and easy, like so. And now we can then look at undoing two screws here and two screws here, and then that will release the hard drive from its case. So remember which side, because this actually goes in that way up. So you'll remember when you put the, the new drive back in, make sure the label of the drive is facing upwards and also make sure that which end the serial ATA is on, because if you get the wrong way around, cable then going to reach this side so I, I'm going to make so I'll just make remember which direction it's in so one do one even the hard drive screws again same as the chassis screws okay exactly same as chassis screws makes life a lot easier one screw for everything inside here so remove those two and we've got two this side as well Probably easy if I had a smaller um, screwdriver on this big chunky one to deal with, but oh, I've got one somewhere. So there we go. So drive will drop down. So remember, because the drive's upside down now, this side is where the uh, serial ATA is. So I'm going to get the other drive and I'm just going to place it down in, in the same direction as that one. So when I slide this one out, I remember which what side this one will go in. So that's drive out. That was a Seagate one terabyte Barracuda drive. So just replacing a standard serial ATA. Some manufacturers um, don't like certain drives, but the majority drives will fit in anything anyway. So this will probably can take up to a terabyte, maybe two terabytes. So you always make check check with the manufacturer's motherboard uh, whether it's got a drive limitation on it. I'll tell you what size drive you can and can't use. So that's back in place. I'm just going to line the holes up. Uh, nice and neatly, and then we can just put the screws back in, like so. so. I'm going to put them in just hand time quickly. Oh. Yep. Get them all lined up. So on that side here, and then we move them into place. Again, fingers and thumbs today. One. So four drives normally holds the hard drive in. So make sure you put four four screws back. Because then if you do lift your PC around and move it around the house, uh, it's not going to sort of dangle or make noise. So we're just going to put them uh, in. Again, make sure you put it in the right way as well, as it won't go back in the case or you find your, your drives upside down. It's not a good not a good thing. So one more. Nice and tight, only have to be hand tight, don't have to be completely tight. That's it, nice and tight. So now if you look at the drive, the label of the drive is actually facing upwards, as I just said in the video. So we now put it back in, into the now PC. Now to connect the hard drive up, so we've got the, we've got the power cable here, and we've got the USB cable here. Okay, so we're putting the USB first. So it goes only goes one way around, and then we plug in the, um, Power cable, hard drive again, only goes one way round, like so, nice and nice and easy in there. Um, you can't get the wrong way round because it only goes one way anyway. So if you try to do it the other way, you'll have difficult getting it in there. So now, so place place it down. There's some grooves in the bottom here that you line it up with, 
Um, so you've got uh, on the side here, that's the hard drive lugs. So you get them into the hold position and then it should then just slide forward into place like so. So they're locked into place now. Okay, and now we can then put the screw back, locking that hard drive in. There's only one space to put a hard drive in this, so if you get R upgrading, find out from the manufacturer what the board limit is on a hard drive you can get. If it says it can read at an eight terabyte or four terabyte drive, then obviously buy the maximum one to put into this because you don't want to do upgrade later. So um, that drives in. So now we put the CD-ROM back. So we just flip it back over, nice and gently, and just line them all up. And then that should just hopefully slide back into position like so. And then what we do is put the two screws back in like so. One in, right, hand tight again. Don't have to over. No, no, no need to over tightening. Just hand tight. As soon as it feels like it's not going to turn anymore, just give it a little bit of extra squeeze, and it's just ha it's nice and hand tight there, nice and easy. So there we have it. So the CD, CD DVD drive back, new hard drive in the bottom there, and you can see that from here. So I got the camera up a bit. So this is the inside. So CPU fan. The CPU underneath, nice big heat sink to keep it nice and keep the heat coming off the CPU. Fan extracts the heat away from there. We've got the um, RAM in there. RAM's a bit fiddly to change because it's really tight in there. So if I was changing RAM, the CD-ROM drive will come out, give me a bit more space um, accessing the RAM and nice and easy that way. And uh, got the power supply unit, got the wireless card just inside there, which has got the lead that goes up around the side there up to here and then connects into this little box here. Okay, uh, P PSU, and that's it. So we now need to put front back onto here. So grab the front, line up the hook type holes here. It's sort of hooked over, like, like a hook. Line them up with the holes, um, holes at the bottom of the case. So once, it, once it's in there, then then just slowly push it and it should just click into place. There you go, marries up nicely. Okay, so there's that. And then <coughs> we can then put the roof of the, well, the top chassis part of the case back. Again, there's um, little grooves here, and there's also, uh, and, and then there's the holes here as well. So you just literally place it over as if you're putting it completely on. Just, just past, because here, you've got, a, you've got a whole bit here, and you'll see that there's like a little, metal bit slides through here. So if you just line up just to pass that, then put it down, it should then slide and pop up into place nicely. Because that's where you will put like a, a locking thing on it, either a padlock um, that chain to, uh, against a chain that will chain it to the bench. So if you're actually using these for work, then um, you can actually use these special locks to lock them, lock them down to your desk so people can't nick them. So we then put the two remaining screws back into the case. And then that's the hard drive upgrade done on this um, PC. So all we've got to do now is reinstall Windows 10 on it. I'm not going to do uh, Windows 10 install right now because this is just a, a video on changing the hard drive out on a particular PC. Most PCs are all the same. Well, that was helpful for you. So if you want to see how to install Windows 10, then obviously look at my other videos you'll see. Um, on I've done an install of Windows 10 on a laptop. So very much, Windows 10 is very much the similar same to any PC you would install it on, so the principle is the same. Uh, I'm not going to show you doing Windows 10 on here because you might as well look at the other video, so it's me reduplicating stuff. It's more just how to change hard drive out. And we'll do we'll do small videos like this, how to change RAM out. PCs are very much similar to the same, motherboard, processor, RAM, and it's maybe in different places, but I'll show you RAM upgrades and stuff because they're all so simple and I'll show you what you need to look out of like when you're buying RAM, because RAM can be different sizes, different speeds, so the, um, the when they slot into the slots can be slightly a bit different to each other, but we'll show you um, on those what to look out for, so you get to learn bits and pieces. This is a very simple, easy hard drive, hard drive upgrade to do, and now I'm just going to install Windows, get it back up and running again. Uh, I've got a server to do a hard drive upgrade. I've purchased a solid state drive, which is one of these little drives here. If you're going to upgrade, 
your PC and you want to boot nice and fast but you're not worried about massive storage because these days you can store your data on an external drive I would recommend upgrading one of these to one of these drives this is the solid state hard drive inside not very big but again it, all it is is in theory the solid state drives are fast they are um, extremely fast so there's solid state drive that's the hold hard drive so you can see difference in sizes okay this is one terabyte but this this is only a 400 gig um, solid state drive which basically means it's got no moving parts hence why it's so much more thinner because it's just like one big memory chip inside this and it's 28 times faster than a standard hard drive okay boot time the booting time is fast reading off the disk is fast so I would re recommend putting one of these in there it comes with a sort of a caddy you can put in there and you could probably even double size sticky take that in the machine it's so lightweight as well <clears throat> reinstall windows on that to make it really 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 boot quick fast um, then I'll use an external hard drive for extra storage because these are not very big so this one's like a 400 gigabyte one you can get these in the terabyte size um, but they're really expensive but this will make your PC move and load faster but we're going to put this into a server so you'll get to see on my, my new video come up very soon how much faster these boys are because I've not really tested this one yet so this is my first sort of install of a solid state drive because uh, obviously price is slightly dropping so expensive it's about 100 pounds so it's still expensive because I could have bought the same drive size for about 30 quid if it was, if it was a standard hard drive it just gives you an idea on how much solid state drives cost they can be really expensive you can pay up to like 800 pounds for a solid state drive but they are a lot a lot faster than your standard hard drives so that's what I would recommend if you're going to do that put one in here 400 gig size which is ample load your operating system onto it and then use then use external storage to store all your data, your movies, your files, your pictures on that way. So that way it's away from the PC. If the PC crashes, your data's secure. But it'll make booting time faster, reading data a lot quicker. So that's my tip. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to subscribe, uh, like my videos, and please, any questions on this, hard drive up upgrades, please, please comment below, and I will actually uh, comment back. So until next time, um, have fun, and see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you.